The dynamism of thoughts springs from mutual learning, and scientific progress would be impossible without exchanges. But while the chilling effect of the China Initiative is still lingering on, the state of Florida recently wrote out a new law blocking Chinese researchers from labs of public universities. Also, dozens of Chinese arriving in the United States, including students, were denied entry every month for the past few months. They held valid visas, had no criminal records, and were returning to school after traveling elsewhere, or returning, or reuniting with their family in China. But when they landed at the airport, what awaited them was eight-hour-long interrogation by officers, who prohibited them from contacting their parents, and made groundless accusations against them, and even forcibly repatriated them and banned their entry. This is absolutely unacceptable. The Chinese side immediately expressed its firm opposition to the U.S. side. We will continue to resolutely safeguard the legitimate rights and interests of Chinese citizens. Studying abroad is a big decision that costs much money and energy. Politicizing and manipulating educational cooperation will not only prevent the students from chasing their dreams and force them to change their life plans, but also drain the talent pool of the United States, poison its research environment, and chill innovation. If normal people-to-people -people exchanges are cut off, how can the two major countries maintain and develop their relations?